My name is Carolyn Richardson. I live in Berry Farm. I've been here for for 20 some years and I love it here. Being on your own and single with kids and this lady was telling me I could easily go and get um put in for a housing myself. So that's what I did and it took me 10 years to get my house. As I walked in the front door, I looked around, it was a pretty big living room, but then she said, go oh, this way. So I opened the door there, I said, like, oh, it was on the room, this is cool. And then went to the kitchen, and oh, it's nice too. And went on the back porch, I said, oh, yes. Because <laughs> there's a line, I could put clothes outside and all, which I'm used to doing before I came over here. And went upstairs to the bedroom, whoo, this is all cool. And I came by myself and went back home and got the keys, the kids, that they loved it. It's like, oh my, this is so nice. The school was right up the street, which was Bernie. And my daughter went to H.D. Whitson and Martha Washington. She wanted to be a nurse, and that's what she's doing. Since I've been here, I went to school to get my license for daycare, and I ran that from 2010. I could retire. I enjoyed doing daycare. It's a challenge, I guess. It's something to do. And then you see kids kind of grow up, and then some kids end up how they want to leave. They want to be with me. My parents worked in cotton field and when I was about seven. So I moved from North Carolina. We had strict parents, and we frank. I thank my mother and my father every day for bringing us up the way they did. And if you bring kids up the way you were brought up from your parents, you wouldn't be... They wouldn't be in jail and all that. They would be out giving good jobs and everything and raising the family stuff instead of getting in trouble. We listened to what our parents said and we did it. We brought them up the way we were brought up. Old school. You don't do what you're supposed to do. You know what you're going to get. Well, it's a lot different because they took out all that. You can't hear the child. You can't do none of that now. So it's really off because they if it was more of that, I think more of these kids would be in school instead of out of school. And my kids coming up, if you're sick, you go to the doctor in the morning and you go to school. Kids don't listen to you, you know what to do. They're supposed to listen to you. You're the parent, not them. I went back to get my GED to um, Baloo State. During daycare, if you didn't have your uh, diploma, you had to go back to school and get it, or either you couldn't work. I graduated. June 2013. It was difficult. It took me a while to do it, but I hung in there and did it. I uh, kept on going because I promised my monitor, and she passed. So I had to keep on going. I told her I would go and finish, and that's what I did. You can take a look at all of my diplomas. <laughs> I got a letter from Mary Burry. I have two certificates up there from one from Peter Green Center. I think the other one is from UPO. I'm proud of getting my diploma at the age of 62. It was a challenge, but I've made it.